Marcus Andres. And in this world around this episode, we're, we're gonna try to do another virtual lab. This is uh, a little bit more complicated because uh, of the apparatus. We are looking at gas laws. We're looking at the universal gas law, PV equals NRT. And we're gonna collect some gas and determine how many moles of that gas we collected. So uh, we're going to use the aluminum and hydrochloric acid reaction. So it's going to be aluminum plus HCl yields aluminum chloride and hydrogen. So we're going to be collecting hydrogen gas in the graduated cylinder. In order to do this, our setup is pretty simple. We have uh, a hose that has uh, two, a stopper with two outs on it. We're going to use the pipettes to put the acid into the flask. We have hydrochloric acid and we have aluminum. <clears throat> I masked out the aluminum to be... 0 0.10 grams and uh, that was sort of just by luck I wasn't I was going for around a gram a, a, a tenth of a gram and I hit right on it we're going to use a half of a milliliter of concentrated high chloric acid in the flask then we're going to collect the gas through the hose into the inverted graduated cylinder it's time to put the goggles on there's going to be four parts to this video Part one is going to be setting up the apparatus. Part two is going to be running the experiment and collecting the gas. And then part three will be analyzing the results to calculate the number of moles. Part four of the video will be looking at the uh, moles to grams and grams to moles and go backwards to try to determine the concentration of the hydrochloric acid. So there's four parts to this video. So that's the plan for the experiment. That's what we're gonna to try to do. Setting up the apparatus. Here we go, part one, setting up the apparatus. Part one is like playing in the bathtub. We're gonna do this thing where we fill the graduated cylinder up with water and try to get all the air out of it that we can, all the gas. And then we're gonna do the thing where we stand it up on its end and without breaking the surface of the water, we're gonna get it into the clamp. And once it is in the clamp, we're ready to do the next part. Now, in this part, we're going to put the hose into the cylinder. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to put the hose in with the, the end facing up. And this is just tap water that I'm putting my hand in. So we're going to wrap the hose around the pole. And the graduated cylinder is at an angle because I want, I want, I'm using very small amounts of the reactants. So I want it to be in the, it's not a graduated cylinder, it's a flask. The flask is at an angle because I want it all to be, you know, in one spot. And I have these tweezers. So I'm going to drop the foil, aluminum foil in. And I'm going to try to position it at the bottom and get it as, 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 as flat on the bottom as possible. I'm going to stopper the flask. And I'm using a pipette. And the pipette is marked with, with graduations. So I'm going to put a half a milliliter of concentrated hydrochloric acid in. We're turning the fan on now. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to squeeze it down until I get it to the half milliliter mark. And now there's a half milliliter in here. And I want to be careful not to get the, the drippy part over anything that I want acid dripping on. All right, so we're now ready to do the experiment. And now I'm putting it into the flask. All right, so if you're doing the experiment in class, then you are now ready to go back and um, do the experiment. If you're collecting the results virtually, continue watching the video. All right, so you're, you're doing the virtual results. I have a half milliliter of hydrochloric acid. I have 0.1 grams of aluminum. And I have my apparatus put together. Be very careful not to let anything drip out of the, the pipette onto my hand or any surface I don't want it to come in contact with. And now I'm putting it into... The reaction will begin. The aluminum and the hydrochloric acid are going to react. The aluminum is going to claim the chlorine from the hydrogen. It's going to liberate the hydrogen. The hydrogen is going to form hydrogen gas, which is going to go into our full 
graduated cylinder. The gas is going to come down and we're going to measure the amount of gas that was created and we're going to call that um, the volume, it's going to be in milliliters, so the volume of gas that was created, we're going to convert that in the result section, we're going to convert that into number of moles. We're going to let the reaction come to a completion. The aluminum uh, appears to have been in excess, which is what I expected. And we have c collected the gas. There does not seem to be any more gas forming. So now we're going to read the graduated cylinder. And we're going to read that to be, I'm going to call it, we're going upside down, 51 milliliters of gas. 51 milliliters of gas. All right, so that is the, the results. Now we're going to have to convert, convert that into in the worksheet. And there is a worksheet linked down in the description section, a worksheet to this lab with the information that you need to do this. So um, pull that worksheet up and if you're doing the virtual lab, you're now ready to calculate. If you are doing the whole, if you're just watching the video, part three, we're going to uh, calculate that in for you. So there you have it. That was the, the experiment. We collected 51 milliliters of hydrogen in this apparatus and all this all that um, all right if you are still watching it's time to calculate that in so let's let's move away from the hood turn the fan off and uh, let's do some calculations all right we're in the results section of the video we're in the results section we've got a get our stuff ready. If we're going to use the formula, we're going to be calculating the number of moles. So we're going to use the formula PV equals NRT. We're going to use PV equals NRT. In class, we've been using the constant R. We're using R equals. We've been using the value 0 0.082. We've been using liters atmospheres, Kelvin, and moles. So that's liters, atmospheres, Kelvin, and moles. Kelvin's K. If you're, if you're new to my handwriting, I, I have terrible handwriting, as you, as you can see. R equals 0 0.082 liter, atmosphere, Kelvin, mole. All right. So that means we got to get our values into those, those units. So P uh, the pressure, the, the atmospheric pressure, I just went to Weather Channel. P, pressure. So the pressure was, uh, according to Weather Channel, uh, weather app, 29.98 millimeters of uh, inches of mercury. And that converts to 1.00 atmospheres. Volume, we measured the volume to be 51 milliliters. 51 milliliters, 0 0.051 liters, 0 0.051 liters. So we got pressure, volume, temperature. We measured the temperature to be uh, 22, 22 Celsius. T equals 22 Celsius. We need to convert that to, to Kelvin. We're going to add 273.15 to that. 295.15 Kelvin. 295.15 Kelvin. So now we have Kelvin, we have liters, we have atmospheres. We have R. All we need to do now is put them all together and calculate. PV equals NRT. PV over RT equals N. We're calculating N. Calculator time. P. 1.00 times V015, 0 0.015, 0 
zero five one that's that's your v right there zero point zero five one over r zero point zero eight two times two ninety five point one five two ninety five point one five equals n calculator on calculator on 0 0.051 divided by 0 0.082 divided by 295.15 equals 0.021 moles equals n. 0021 moles equals n. 0021 moles. Remember that one mole of gas at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 liters. So this seems like a reasonable, if we go from 51.051, we're not, we're not going to have a whole lot of, of moles there. So that's, that's the math that we calculated. That's the mass of the, that is the number of moles of gas that we collected. Number of moles of gas that we collected at 22 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere pressure. All right. That's it for the results section. All right, let's try to take a look at the stoichiometry that went on in this reaction. Let's try to take a look at what happened in the reaction. We collected, we collected the uh, 0 0.0021 moles of hydrogen gas. So now we're going to try to figure out what that means in terms of what was the concentration of the hydrochloric acid that we started with? What was the concentration of the hydrochloric acid we started with? Also, we started with uh, 0.1 grams of aluminum. So we're going to look at that just because, you know, we, we collected it. We can look at that. Let's start with the balanced equation. The balance uh, is 2 aluminum plus 6 hydrochloric acid HCLs results in 2 HCl3s and 3 H2s. So we, we should have, you know, the balanced equation. So we take the number of moles that we have and uh, we'll use... We'll use we use orange again here. Uh, I got this number of moles. I'm going to bring it in here and I'm going to put it in there. So the ratio is 3 to 6, so that means that this should be twice as many as that. So we should have had 0.0042 HCLs to begin with. If we had 0.042 HCLs to begin with. We put that into our, our uh, equation for, for molar concentration, which is moles per liter. We take our 0.5 milliliters of uh, HCL, convert that into liters, plug that in, and we end up with, we have 8.4 molar concentrated HCL. So that's what the hydrochloric acid was uh, 8.4 molar based on, within the ranges of error, with the ranges of error of our, our uh, calculations. All right, let's look at the aluminum side. If we had 0.4042 here, so this, it's, it should be uh, one-third as much, so that becomes 0014, and that was in excess because it was left over in the flask. 0.1 grams, grams to moles divide. We started with 0.03 0 0.037 moles of aluminum. So we had a lot of extra aluminum in this reaction. So we start, we should have had, if we wanted the complete perfect reaction, we would have had 0.014 moles of aluminum, 0.042 moles of HCl would have resulted in 0.014 moles of aluminum chloride and 0.021 moles of hydrogen, which is what we collected was 0.021 moles of hydrogen. All right, that is that is the 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 sum of the of the thing. I, there's a lot of numbers up here, and there's a lot of calculations. And I could have made a mistake if I did. If you see a mistake that I made, uh, let me know, <laughs> comment it, and all that sort of thing. The balance of the equation is in the description. All of this is in the description. 
uh, so you can follow through down there. Also, don't forget there's a worksheet if you wanted to, to do this, this lab uh, as a class activity or if you just wanted to do it for fun, uh, the worksheet is linked in the description as well. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications, leave me a comment, question, a suggestion of other videos that you would like to see. That is all. See you in the next episode.